Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 27th, 2021. Well, my goodness, as we wind down this week, we've been kind of stuck the last few days in just a really tight con consolidation. Overhead resistance continues to prevent us from moving up, and we seem to be really lacking in volume and um, momentum to carry through and try to reach some of these um, new record targets. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I also want to just shout out to everyone. Thank you so much for everyone that's been commenting and, and clicking those thumbs up button, buttons on the channel. I truly appreciate it. And we're seeing the results of you guys doing that um, as we, as the channel continues to grow. So thank you very much. You guys, you guys are awesome. And, and those folks that have been um, supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee uh, link below the title of the video also huge thank you I mean it's just it's so humbling and um, certainly keeps me inspired to continue to get up every morning at 5 a.m. and put out a blog and do this video so thank you everyone let's take a look at um, the stocks and see if we can get any idea about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now I've been mentioning here in the Dow that it has been bullish. We held on to our 50 day moving average. We're holding on to overall trend in the Dow, but we continue to be a bit challenged here by this price resistance in the chart. We rallied a long ways in just four days, so it's not a out of the question thing to, or a really a surprising thing to see that the market needs to rest a little bit. And that's kind of where we are here today. And one of the things that's been pretty darn remarkable is seeing the decline in volume over the last three days here in the market. It's if everyone has just kind of decided the three day weekend is coming and let's just take off early. Um, because volumes have been remarkably low. Now, that could be a function of the data that's coming out to today. We've just been waiting on that. But it could also just be a function that traders um, have been kind of trapped at home for a long, long time because of the pandemic, and they finally have the opportunity to get away and extend their vacation uh, days um, with that three-day weekend so kind of it's it's hard to say how we're going to uh, progress i would suspect that there is going to be a flurry of activity this morning around these data points um, coming out and then that we really could see a significant um a significant decline in uh, trading volumes as I suspect there'll be a lot of trading floors um, starting to clear out and everyone taking off for an early getaway. So watch for that carefully. Now that said, we are bullish here and we have some data points this morning that could move us around. So let's keep a close eye on that resistance level up here in the chart. See if we can uh, gain enough energy to breach and, and push on through. And, or let's watch for that possibility that we could pull back a little bit more, uh, maybe engaging some of the support levels in the chart, which are just right below support levels right underneath here so watch that close let's take a look at the spy now SPY obviously moved a lot further up than I would have expected as a matter of fact I was kind of thinking we we're gonna we were gonna struggle with this price resistance right in here on the chart as we move back up and we did for just one day we halted there just temporarily but we are really within striking distance here of new record highs in the spy However, the last three days, we've been kind of challenged by some price resistance. We just can't seem to breach up through there, at least at the moment. And maybe today we get those uh, numbers that will inspire us to move on higher. Keep a close eye on that. Yesterday we saw big tech, and remember big tech, seven companies, um, you know, 
dominate 40% of the S&P 500 index. If we can't get those big techs to continue to push to the upside, it's going to be really difficult for the SPY to do much moving here. So watch that closely. And, and um, keep in mind that if we do rest or pull back, that we do have some significant support right in here. So I don't know unless we breach down below this area where we'd have too much trouble. But I think getting this close, we're going to see institutions do about everything possible uh, to push this up for a new headline. And uh, I would have thought that they would be in tr been trying a little bit high, harder heading into the end of this month to try and uh, gain a headline. So we still have a couple of days for that. Watch that closely. Maybe we can find something that inspires those bulls to push higher. But watch that closely in case we start to falter. Then let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ, it seemed to me yesterday everyone was just waiting in anticipation of what would happen with NVIDIA. And NVIDIA came out with this re report and just blew out um, earnings reports. And we've seen this um, over and over and over in tech um, this year where we blow out earnings reports and then the stock just yawns and goes, yeah, whatever and doesn't really move and we're kind of seeing the same thing in nvidia this morning so though we had that really strong report we're not getting a big reaction here in the nasdaq now that could change with these data points coming out um, um, a little bit later this morning but watch that carefully we still have this significant overhead resistance to challenge um, the NASDAQ. And let's keep in mind that we have a 50 day moving average that's right back down in this area. So if we were to find some sellers, don't be surprised if we pull back and retest that 50, but that doesn't hurt this index at, at all. It, it would create a little bit of concern and maybe some technical damage with the idea that we just created a lower high. But if we can hold a higher low, in this move where we have this little double bottom if we could hold that higher low we still have that opportunity that this could push on through so watch it carefully and closely kind of an interesting thing and here let's take a look at nvidia this morning um last night it was largely unchanged we're trying to get a little bit of bullish activity in here this morning after just 84 percent increase in sales um and markets like yeah whatever so kind of an interesting thing going on there in nvidia let's take a look at um our iwm now iwm had the best results yesterday pushing up and once again we pushed above that 50-day moving average now the question is going to be will we be able to hold that now we've pushed up through there we've done this several times where we push up through that 50 but we've not been able to prove to hold so let's watch that closely today now the reason that is is we got some inspiration in that um, oil number yesterday that really helped that oil the oil sector socks perk up so let's watch that carefully and see if we can catch a hold in here and um, continue to move on higher i'm not going to hold my breath for that possibility though that we could run into some more sellers up here around those resistance levels let's take a look at the vix now our vix continues to slide south and that is a good sign we're starting to break down this trend right in here where we broke above that trend and we're starting to break that down we have broke down below this level of price support in the chart which is a good sign and we're we have broken down as of yesterday kind of broken down that little upside trend so let's watch that closely we need to see this continue to sink if we're going to stay bullish in the market watch that closely but it is is encouraging that fear seems to be dropping out now you do have to wonder when fear drops out is it complacency when we see fear drop out and no momentum and no volume coming into the market it makes you wonder if we have just become very complacent with the idea that the market can't really sell off significantly that usually creates a dangerous situation. If, if we become overly complacent and just thinking it's never going to fall, it's never going to fall, then we have to just 
be very focused on the possibility that if it does, it could move really quickly. So watch that closely. Right now, no big concerns here, but um, there may be that possibility of a little bit of complacency starting to work in here. Let's take a look at our T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. You can see yesterday we rallied back up and we've just kind of been chopping in a range here in T2122. So what T2122 does, it doesn't tell us the direction of the movement on the day, but what it does do is tell us if we're in an overbought or oversold condition. Now, unfortunately, we're kind of in the middle of the road here, um, trying to straddle, straddle the fence, so to speak, um, without any real direction um, guidance here in T2122. It tells us that we have plenty of upside room if we can find that bullish inspiration and we have plenty of downside room if we can find that bearish inspiration. And we'll just have to wait and see on these data points if they provide any of that inspiration today to really get us moving, or if that volume continues to die on the vine um, as, I, as I suspect traders are heading out early to extend their vacations. Let's take a look at our T2101. The absolute breadth indicator has been a concern for me for some time and that breadth, we're, we're just not getting enough breadth to really move the market. And you can see we, we did get a little bit of um, bounce yesterday, but there's just not a whole lot of inspiration in here. And let's notice that we've been in this long term downtrend in market breadth. We just can't seem to inspire a whole lot. Um, to get going. Now, what we don't want to do is we, we, we don't want to see this expand on a selling wave. Um, and so far we haven't seen much of that. Um, we're just kind of drifting along here. So watch that carefully and closely. I'm not sure what this means, but it does make me a little bit uncomfortable and kind of adds to that whole statement of complacency that maybe we've just kind of become complacent. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And if we look at our economic calendar, we do have a few things today that could move us significantly. Right now, the futures are basically flat. We saw Asian markets last night trade um, in a real choppy session and kind of end up mixed on the day. European markets are waiting for this data too in a very flat session so far this morning. So we've got our GDP, our, excuse me, our durable goods order, our GDP number and jobless claims coming all out at 8.30 this morning, an hour before the market opens. And that's where we're going to find our inspiration, whether we're gonna be bullish or bearish um, in the market. So watch these big data points. All of these can move the market significantly. Beyond that, we have some pending home sales. We have petroleum status, and we do have some bond auctions this afternoon that we want to pay attention to. The seven year um, note will be out. And then later on today, we've got the Fed balance sheet, which I keep mentioning over and over. Nobody seems to care how much debt the Fed bring, puts on. Uh, we, as long as they keep spending, that's all that matters to us. Um, and then keep in mind that we have a three day weekend coming up and um, I kind of suspect we're going to see volumes drop off this afternoon. Watch that carefully. We do have international trade. Um, tomorrow morning and we have personal incomes and outlays, Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. So there are some data points tomorrow to be aware of as we progress um, into this three day weekend. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have our biggest day today of this week. Um, and we have several that we might want to be paying attention to. So as I cover these guys, realize that I can't cover them all. What I would um, encourage you to do if you want the full list of notables, click that link just below the title of the video and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. Let's take a look. We've got a big focus on retail today. Um, BBY, Best Buy reporting today. It looks like they're getting a good response to a report this morning, trying to push higher. We have Costco that we'll be reporting today. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. We're gonna hear from Burlington uh, today. Burlington 
pushing up, trying to break out to new highs here on their report. Burlington looking strong. We're going to get Dollar General. Looks like Dollar General's going the other way the, this morning, uh, pushing down just a little bit. We're going to hear from Dollar Tree, I believe, as well. We also have uh, GPS. GPS is on this list. Keep an eye on that. Looks like uh, not much happening here on GPS. Um, we're going to hear from um, CRM today. CRM. Keep an eye on CRM, Salesforce. That'll be an interesting one to pay attention to. We've got HPQ later on today. Hewlett Packard will be reporting. So a little bit coming from the tech side as long. Uh, also, um, we have Dell um, reporting, um, I believe, this afternoon. So watch for those reports. And last but not least, uh, VMW will be reporting uh, today. So keep an eye on that that so how about we take a look at some stocks setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be useful if you found this one to be helpful please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment it does help those algorithms continue to um, show these videos to more folks and grow the channel and thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that I would also like to um, thank you those of you who share this video out on your social media feeds um, I really appreciate that and again that does help the channel to grow let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember that these stocks are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security Please keep that in mind and um, make sure you're doing your own due diligence um, in your trading and watching the risk of these trades. Um, because of the volatility of this market, we really have to pay attention to the risk um, in um, these positions. And the market being so overextended, we have that propensity of really big moves. So make sure you're following your rules and your risk tolerance rules when it comes to trading. Let's take a look. Um, I have mentioned plug power a few times in the past, and I mentioned it just um, yesterday as a potential trade. Now take a look at plug. Plug did push on through my alert yesterday, but I chose not to trade it. First off, because it is gonna re be reporting <laughs> so that's one reason I didn't trade it. But secondly, this uh, so-called death cross, the 50 crossing down through the 200. See this resistance in the chart? I've decided to wait on this trade. And I'm seeing a lot of this um, energy sector, um, or shall I say um, green energy sector, trying to perk up yesterday. Let's take a look at a couple of those. Um, First Solar had a nice little pop-up yesterday, trying to push up. Notice we have some downtrend here in that chart. Still, it's working on. And um, again, we have that death cross, 50 crossing down through the 200. And we saw that in quite a few charts yesterday, um, trying to perk back up. Another might be NIO. Take a look at NIO, trying to push up solidly yesterday in that move but we're pushing right into that, um, that area with the 50 and the 200, 50's cross down through the 200, that what they call the death cross and pushing right into its resistance level um, in the chart. So now the question, once we push through that downtrend, can we hold it as support and then find that inspiration to push back up? And we certainly could um, in this market, but a lot of those, um, stocks in that area or sector. Take a look at um, Solo. Solo did the same thing. Big push up, breaking the downtrend. But here again, we have that 50 down through the 200. Um, um, this has got a lot of work to prove whether or not these trends are going to reverse 
uh, back up. So watch those carefully. Let's take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks that I've been mentioning. Take a look at Philip Morris. Philip Morris has been in this beautiful upside trend for a long, long time and continues to just kind of consolidate up here in that area. Watch that closely. If that can gain some inspiration, maybe in some of these numbers this morning, Philip Morris could finally push on through. I think you should take a quick look at the beverage sector um, as well. Take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo made a move yesterday and we're trying to break through this big resistance level in the chart. If PepsiCo can push on out of there, notice we push through, kind of consolidating. If we can find some inspiration, PepsiCo may start to get it done here. And we also see the same thing in Coke. Now Coke had a uh, push through yesterday and looks like we're getting some weird volatility in it this morning. Keep a close eye on that. Coke's been working on this resistance level as well, trying to push on up. Let's move over to more of an adult beverage. Uh, TAP, T-A-P, beautiful price pattern here where we broke this little downtrend, pushed up and rested right in here. And we're starting to show some bullishness coming into this chart this morning. Keep a close eye on TAP. Some of those are starting to look pretty good as well to the upside. Keep an eye on these defensive sector stocks. These good divvy pairs um, have been really, really strong. Um, right way options, I myself am holding this position in MDLZ. I like this chart and I like the way it's moved up nicely here. We, we've got a nice profit in this trade. And as this consolidates out here toward the trend, I'm gonna wanna be watching for that next opportunity that that could move on higher. Keep an eye on MDLZ. So there's a few charts for you to kind of mull over and decide whether or not you want to add those to your watch list. Hey, I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Remember, be just a little bit careful and cautious. When the market is dull, it's really easy to work extremely hard trying to find a trade in a dull market. And just remember, those dull markets have those um, big potentials that we could gap up or gap down. So if you happen to be short, we could get that big gap up. If you happen to be down or, or uh, long, we could get that big gap down when we have these dull markets like this. Today might be that opportunity where we get that big move after these data points. So be kind of careful. Don't be over trading this market. And remember that holiday weekend, we tend to just kind of dry up on volume. So uh, watch that closely today. Um, may not be a wise thing to just be buying up a bunch of positions um, as we head into that long weekend. Y'all take care. Have a great one. And I will see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.